All in all, though, Crow and Joel and Gypsy are not so bad to live with. Just a bunch of fun-loving guys locked in a decaying orbit with nothing to do but watch terrible films. Funny thing is, Joel's lovable on-air persona is nothing like his day-to-day -day demeanor. Like yesterday, after recharge, Joel sat us down for his weekly attitude talks. And boy, was he a little miffed. Hey, Gypsy, there's your drive train. It's a wonder you're even moving. You left it on the shower rod. Huh? Why don't you move? Huh? Listen, just because you have to have your oil changed every week doesn't mean you own that shower. Okay. <laughs> now, you, Crow. Uh-oh, here comes the Listen, prod. You left your load pans out. I, um, After recharge, you know the rule. Well, it was Servo's turn to to, uh, to take. I oh. told you, I'm not oh. doing your load. <laughs> Listen, I'm not normally this way. It's just Servo's perception of me. Boy, you're really crabby. You're next, Servo. What? I found gum underneath all of the theater seats. How do you know it was mine? It was Juicy Fruit. Okay, it was mine. But you'll never take me alive, Copper. Top of the world, Ma. I could have been a contender. Stella, Stella. I woke up. You weren't there. I hate that. I'm not going to be ignored, am I? Mary, Mary, don't you know me? Rosebud. Listen, Crow, Crow, I want you to clean that up. I'm going to be in my trailer. You know, Gyps, the problems of two little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. All I know is you're going to get on that plane. No matter what happens between you and me, well, we'll always have Paris. Paris? Paris. Well, here's looking at you, kid. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. 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 So, Kitty, mein lieber Schatz, I'll leave you now, for I mustn't get in on Kino Sign!